Hey everyone, Matt here from Chaparral Motorsports and today we are going to be talking about body armor, your chest and back mainly. Have you ever wondered the difference between a roost deflector and a chest protector? Well that's exactly what we're going to go over because you may not know what it is that you're buying. There are so many different shapes, styles, and colors of these roost deflecting, handlebar repelling protective devices, and there aren't many places you can come and try over 30 different models on, except for Chaparral Motorsports. So finding what you're looking for could be a challenge. And if you haven't noticed, the chest protector and the roost deflector look identical, but offer much different levels of protection. In order to be considered a chest protector, it has to carry the CE certified safety rating. And there are two different levels of protection, level one and level two. Level two being the highest rating that you can get in body armor. And a roost deflector is just that. It's gonna deflect against roost or occasional branch or even a June bug. Right off the bat, it'd be hard to tell the difference between a roost deflector and a roost deflector or a chest protector and a chest protector. Now let's head to the room and I'll show you some examples of what I was talking about. So before we get started with the examples of chest protectors and roost deflectors that I had for you, you really want to ask yourself the question when you are looking into body protection is how much protection you're actually looking to get. That will make it a lot easier for you to shop and especially with all the examples that I have for you, this really covers a lot of the bases. So with that, let's start out with the women's chest protectors. You have the Liat 4.5 women's chest protector. This is great because it offers the best protection that you can get as far as levels go. So the front chest plate is level two rated as well as the back. You have a ton of impact protection there. Now, just to give you a quick example of what you can see in the back here, this is a removable plate, by the way, because this chest protector is designed to work directly with the Liat neck brace. And I'll show you more of that in just a second. But just for scale, I wanted to show you the thickness of the padding here. That's all the impact protection that you're going to get in the front and in the back. So a ton of ton of coverage, not to mention with this chest protector, you have flank protection. So you have this really dense foam on the sides, giving you full protection there in the core. And what's really unique about the way this fits it just fits great around the midsection because it's a dual design here or a split design rather. So you have the split here that allows it to conform to the body as, as much as you tighten it up and then you also have adjustments here in the shoulders. And because it is directly designed to work with the neck brace, you have features to accommodate that like the brace on system. So you have these elastic bands on the shoulders which are very low profile by the way so that you're not gonna have all this doubling up effect. So that will keep the neck brace right onto your body there and then this front chest plate will come off as well. It's very easy to do so, it just snaps right out. So you can see how that is exposed, that neck brace will lay right on there, so it's just gonna work seamlessly. You don't have to finagle it. So that's what I really liked about the 4.5 chest protector from Liat, it is at the top end of the price scale at 139, but considering the features and the benefits you get with something like this, I think it's very reasonable. So there's one more thing to take into consideration or to keep in mind when shopping for a chest protector is if you're not sure what level of protection that you are getting, you can simply just read the manufacturer's label. It will tell you if it's level one or two. This Guardian protector, however, has level one in the chest and level two in the back. So you have more back and spine protection as far as impact resistance goes. This one also happens to have shoulder armor as well as bicep armor. And if you didn't want them on there, it's not so easy to just remove these like some other chest protectors on the market, you'd probably have to cut that and then you're left without that option. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, what's nice about this protector is that it accommodates a larger bust for women in the front chest plate. But if I call out something that may be a concern, that's gonna be that this isn't as contoured as the 4.5 Liat chest protector that we just showed you. This one's a little bit more boxy. However, the upside to that is that this one is a little less expensive, right at $80 at full retail. Last up for the women is the Fox R3 Roost Deflector. Now we finally have one in here. This is a great example because you just have plastic in the front and in the back. There's no safety approval. It's still gonna be a lot better protection than nothing at all. But like I also said before, this is gonna be, for those of you that are looking for just light protection, if you're doing some light trail riding, slow speed stuff, you just want some protection against some rocks, large pieces of mud, some branches, things of that sort. Now, this one also is contoured to fit the shape of a woman in the chest plate. You're also going to have that shoulder armor and bicep armor. But with this one, 
unlike the Thor, these pop right off. So if you didn't want it on there, you can throw it in your bag or put it back on however you wanted to do it. You have really thick padding under that shoulder armor and it's a little more difficult to adjust. You have to have some tools to do so, but you can do it. You can do it right here at the tress as well as in the back. So we're gonna start our next segment with non-CE certified roost deflectors like this Fox Racing Pro Frame LC. Now there is a lot of upside to this one because of how low profile it is. You can wear this above the jersey, under the jersey, there's a ton of adjustments on it. And what's great about it is that it is neck brace compatible. That's because you have so much real estate up on the shoulders to be able to adjust. You can really dial in the fit in that area. Now, so this is gonna be the basic side. You have plastic with foam behind it. This really just for comfort. Again, this is gonna be a roost deflector. So for those larger rocks, big pieces of dirt, things of that sort, not so much for the impact protection. Again, cause it's not CE certified, but as always, it's still gonna be a lot more protection than nothing at all. Fly Racing has recently come out with some new body armor. This is the Revel Roost Deflector. This also comes in the MX version, great for track riding. You don't have the armor up on the shoulders or the bicep protectors. However, that's gonna make it even more low profile, better to wear under the jersey. And what's great about it is that they do come neck brace compatible. You have large openings in the front and the back, tons of adjustment up on the shoulders, both front and back as well. And if you're looking to really ramp up your protection while sticking with either one of these options, Fly also has a CE version. So you have CE level one protection in the front and in the back. So far, I've either shown you a chest protector or a roost deflector. Well, sometimes there are things that are a little bit different, like the Fox Racing Raptor roost deflector that has CE certification in the back. So this one's completely different. It's right in between. You're getting that CE certified impact protection in your back, giving you more protection on your back and spine while giving you adequate protection in the front, just not that CE certification that you're looking for. However, you have a lot of protection wrapping around your, your body. You have a lot in the flank area. This is what I liked most about the Raptor. It's really, really all encompassing. You have flank protection that actually has plastic on the outside rather than just really dense foam. So you're getting more coverage in that area to help against rib injuries and kidneys, stuff like that. You have a lot of adjustment here as well. And again, this is neck brace compatible and you can remove that pad in the back if you didn't want it in there for a certain race or if you're just feeling like you don't need it that day. So again, this is the Fox Racing Raptor Roost Deflector that does have CE certified back protection. This happens to be my favorite, favorite chest protector out of all of the options that we even have to offer. This is the Liet 3D Air Fit chest protector that has CE certification level one in the front and in the back. Here's what's so different about it. You have this energy absorbing foam in the front and the back. It's very, very dense. Don't get me wrong, it is hard. However, you don't have any plastic chest plates or plastic back plates. This has to be, in my opinion, one of the best fitting chest protectors out there. It's very slim in profile, so it can be worn under the jersey, no problem. You don't have any bulk. Of course, the shoulders, you do have some padding here. It's very minimal, low profile. It does accommodate the neck brace. So you have slots that are opened up in the front as well as in the back. You have the brace on system and you even have flank protection. You don't have that hard plastic like that Fox Raptor. However, this is again, very dense foam. There are some hard parts here that are going to give you more protection in that area. Fully adjustable in the front here. And just the breathability and lightweightness, and that's my own word there, of this chest protector is great. And it is a little higher in cost, right at 169 at full retail. However, I think it's worth every single penny. But then again, that's just my opinion. We still have more to show you, so let's get to it. Next up on the list is the Liat 4.5 chest protector. This is exactly like the women's version that I showed you earlier, just not contoured for a woman's body. However, this has CE level two rating in the front as well as the back. So again, you have that total coverage. You also have flank protection with this chest protector. It's fully adjustable, just like all the others. It does have the brace on system. And again, just to reiterate, you have this split design. So it's going to actually wrap around the body much better. And that's what I really like about this is just the fit. You're also gonna see that it's very nice and cut out and contoured in the back again to wrap around the body much better and not be so bulky. It's gonna allow you to really mix it up out there on the trails or even on the track. So again, because it is designed to work with the neck brace directly, you have the removable plates in the front as well as in the back. 
this is just an all around great chest protector. So again, this is the Lia 4.5. Last up on our list is the Thor Sentinel GP chest protector. Now don't confuse it with the XP model, that's their non-CE certified version. If you're looking for that CE protection, this is the one to get, the GP. This has level one protection in the front as well as in the back. And what's interesting with this one is that you can actually remove that entire CE approval back pad. You can take that out if you didn't want it in there. For whatever reason, you can always just put it back in. Now what I like about this one is just the slim profile design that it has working perfectly under the jersey or over whichever you prefer. It works very well with the neck brace because you have this open slot design here. You can actually fit the front of the chest protector right in there and then you have the back slots as well. The shoulders, very, very slim in profile. This won't get in the way. You won't have anything to get hung up on with your helmet. It's completely adjustable and you have a large, large amount of room that you can adjust here as well. And then you have some of the, just the basic features like lots of vents, adjustments in the front and so forth. So this is the Thor Sentinel GP. Again, remember this has level one CE approval in the chest as well as in the back. It's available in multiple colors. And that is gonna wrap up our list on the differences between CE level rated chest protectors and roost deflectors. For more information on every single one of these products that we've shown you today, make sure you head to the site shapmoto.com. We're also going to include links into every single product that we've showed you today in the description down below. If you have any questions regarding fitment or different models, please don't hesitate. Leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt. We'll see you next time.